In this question, we are given the tangent at a point x, y on a curve with equation y equal to fx passes through the coordinates a, x, where a is a positive constant and x is lesser than a. Part 1 says, write down a differential equation relating dy dx, a, x, and y. Let's imagine the equation of y equal to fx looks like this, and it passes through a general point x, y. And the tangent at this particular point will also pass us through a point given to be a x and our objective here is to write down a differential equation for dy dx and we can make use of the general formula for dy dx which says that it's equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 we can imagine that this is a point x2 y2 this point will be x1, y1. And putting in the values, x will be my y2, y1 will be my y, x2 will be my a, and my x1 will just be my x. This will be my answer for my part 1. And for part 2 of this question, it says using the substitution y equal to a minus x, z show that the differential equation can be reduced to dz over dx equal to x over a minus x whole thing squared. And looking at our final expression that we need to simplify to, we can see that somehow all the y's have been replaced away. So I know that in our this substitution, we are supposed to replace all the y's away, including this dy dx, this y's here. So say, uh, I'm probably going to differentiate respect to x first in order to get a term of dy dx so that I can do a replacement for this term here first. So let's do an implicit differentiation respect to x first. We have a dy dx. I'm going to make use of product rule for this. I'm going to keep this. Differentiate z. I'll get a dz dx. And now I'm going to keep z, differentiate a minus x, it will just simply give me minus z. Alright, so with this, let's do a replacement for dy dx. I will get a a minus x dz over dx minus z equal to, so this y, right, I can replace with this expression a minus x z over a minus x. So I'm going to do a bit of simplification here. Let's shift this minus z to the right-hand side. I have a minus x dz over dx equal to x minus a minus x z over a minus x plus z. Right. Let's combine this whole expression first. I will have a minus x dz over dx equal to x minus a minus x z plus a minus x z over a minus x and we can see that this two term can be cancelled away and shifting this a minus x over to the right hand side i'll have a dz over dx equal to x over a minus x squared right this is what we need to show for our dz dx and next part by using partial fractions find the general solution of y in terms of a and x all right i'm going to make use of partial fraction for this i'm going to let this be x over a minus x squared be a over a minus x plus b over a minus x whole thing squared what we're looking here is the form of a linear repeated so i have to let the general form for my partial fraction be this this expression can also be found from the formula list mf27 right we are need to determine the constant a and b so let's combine this whole expression first we have a, a minus x squared this will just be big a a minus x plus b all right and doing a bit of comparison we can first let our x be equal to small a and this term will disappear then i will just see that my big b will just be equal to a 
all right secondly right in order to find my big a here all right probably i'm going to do a equating a coefficient so by multiplying this in i can see that this minus a x is equal to x so doing a bit of comparison i can just see that my a simply will just be equal to minus one so therefore my final expression for dz over d x can be rewritten as let me just write it here dz over dx will just be equal to a will just be minus one so it's minus one over a minus x my b is small a plus a over bracket a minus x whole thing square maybe i can just switch the position of this one to make it nicer so a over a minus x square minus one over a minus x all right let's continue to solve this differential equation i'm going to shift the denominator out i have a a bracket a minus x to the power minus two minus one over a minus x and for this expression i think we can immediately do a integration respect to x on both sides left hand side i will have a z here when i do an integration i have a a bracket a minus x to the power minus one over minus one and not forgetting we need to account for the coefficient of x which is minus one here so we have a minus one and for this term i'm going to do a integration i will have a ln modulus a minus x and again we need to take into consideration of this coefficient of x which is minus one therefore i have a plus here and plus a constant c and i'm going to replace back my z now to uh, to be equal to y over a minus x right simplify a bit for this i'll get a over a minus x plus ln and if we were to refer back to the first paragraph here we can see that x is lesser than a so if x lesser than a we can conclude that a minus x is always a positive expression so therefore this modulus actually is a bit redundant so i'm going to remove it i will have a bracket a minus x plus c multiplying throughout by a minus x i will have a y equal to a plus a minus x square bracket ln bracket a minus x plus c and this will be my general equation for my y and the next part of the question says that actually is given that this curve passes through the origin so therefore i know that x equal to zero y equal to zero will actually satisfy this particular general solution here and we are supposed to show the final expression given here let's write it here we have uh, x equal to zero y equal to zero by subbing in these values we will have a zero equal to a plus a ln a plus c all right so shifting this to the left hand side and dividing dividing both sides by a i will have a minus one equal to ln a plus c so therefore c is equal to minus one minus ln a putting c back to our general expression i'll get this particular solution to be y equal to a plus bracket a minus x square bracket ln a minus x minus one minus ln a all right i'm going to do a bit more simplification let's multiply this expression into this brackets i will get uh, a plus bracket a minus x ln bracket a minus x minus bracket a minus x minus bracket a minus x ln a all right and if we were to expand this i have a plus a minus x bracket ln a minus x uh, i'm going to shift this over to the left hand side right minus a minus x ln a so we have a minus a plus x this a and this a can be cancelled away and this i'm going to factorize out a minus x and i will merge these two lawns together 
using the properties of logarithm, I will end up with a bracket a minus x, log bracket a minus x. All right, subtraction for logarithm means it is a division for a log. So I will get a a minus x over a and plus x. All right, so this will be my particular solution. And I think this is what the question wants us to show. Right, so I'll just write down shown. 